Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Handsome Fanny here. I'm Dustin, this is Brandon, and uh, we're here to talk about the Doom beta. We are today, and uh, man, was it interesting. It was a little interesting, it's different. Uh, what's interesting is what makes it different is the fact that it's old. Yeah, yeah, it's, they didn't reinvent anything. Uh, it, it, it feels very much like the old ones. That was one of the complaints with Doom 3, was that it was less like the originals and more like a horror game. And they've certainly managed, uh, from what we what we tried out of the multiplayer beta, to capture that original essence. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it takes a step back in the multiplayer. There's no run mechanic. Um, there is a little bit of aim down sight, but in a not like an aim down like this. It's like in a, a minimal a, it's a way. Scoped, yeah, exactly. Uh, aim down sight. So, uh, yeah, it is interesting. Uh, the multiplayer beta. I don't know if it really grabbed me, just because, and I don't know if it has anything to do with, like I don't think it's a bad multiplayer, mm. but I just don't think I was super into it after be playing games like Titanfall, yeah. playing games like Black Ops Three. Stuff like that. Yeah, and that, and that's interesting, and it's going to be interesting how they change it to make it so that you don't feel that way, you know what I mean? I feel like the problem I had with it was that it was super fun and the combat was engaging, but once you get past that, it was very shallow. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand it was only a beta experience and uh, all the stuff wasn't unlocked, but I feel like it didn't matter a ton what weapon I used, and some felt, you know, like I had to use those. And the demon thing was cool, but it just didn't feel like... You know, like a lot of things have collectibles. and It, it, it felt like a, a decent bare bones multiplayer. I felt like the problem I had most of all with the multiplayer was that the shotgun seemed to be the only weapon a lot of people were using. Yeah. Like yeah. anytime I got in a big fight, it was just a shotgun fest. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I actually agree with that. Um, I actually found myself using the shotgun the majority of the time. Um, towards the end, I was dabbling around a little bit with a sniper rifle, and it was semi-effective. Um, but because of things like you were saying, I would wish that they would give you more of an incentive to try other classes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because the sniper rifle was doable, but I didn't... With the way it's set up, it's so fast-paced, it doesn't really make a ton of sense mm -hmm. for me to use. I felt like that machine gun, I, everyone was just a bullet sponge. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. getting anywhere um, with it. And it's possible there was some you know, balancing issues, but... Truthfully, I, and since day one, since they announced this, I've been more excited about the campaign than yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I think the, the campaign is really where it's going to shine. Um, I feel like a lot of the times games like this are are the campaign, and they just put on the multiplayer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some, sometimes I wish they just wouldn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm very curious. I think the only kind of sneak peek we've gotten of that campaign was from E3 last year. So uh, I'm very curious to see after, you know, Doom 3, what they're going to pull from that, what they're going to, you know, they're trying to go back to their roots in a lot of ways with speed and making it more of an action game than a horror game. Um, which, honestly, the most experience I have with Doom is through Doom 3. Yeah, so yeah, you played, yeah. Doom, you played Doom 3, right? I did play uh, Doom 3. I, d I, I never beat it, but I, but I did play some of it on, on the 360. Um, but, you know, s something I, I do want to give credit to this game for is I thought the, um, like, assassination type things were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. When you could... I, I always think that's cool when you when they Very have, Halo -esque. like... Very Yeah, yeah. I, and, I, actually, we mentioned it multiple times. It actually... Your guy looks like a Halo character. Mm -hmm. Like, almost exactly, as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. Um, well, one of the, the, the certain affinity, I believe, is the company that's working on specifically the multiplayer. One of the lead devs or one of the heads there did all the multiplayer for Halo 3, I think. Okay, yeah, One yeah, of the yeah, Halo yeah. games. So it's directly people who worked on yeah. Halo games and are working I, on the multiplayer for this game. I can definitely see the inspiration. Um, it's interesting. I'm going to chalk it up to interesting. Um, I, I want to see more of the demons. I want to see how they're going to play out. Um, and, you know, I, just, I don't know. You, you don't have to I mean? wait too long because the game's coming out in May, early May, I think. Soon, soon, soon. I'm, and I'm sure there's probably going to be another beta. Oh, yeah. I, w I would think so. So, guys, let us know. Did you guys play the Doom beta? If you did, let us know what you thought about the beta in the comments. Are you getting Doom? I might. I don't know. I'm definitely going to play the campaign. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it seems like one of those ones that, you know, I need to be convinced more. It might be a good rent. We'll, we'll see how it shapes up. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, like it. It helps us out. It does. So until next time, see you guys later.